Hey guys, I am Kyle and in today's video, I am going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can set up Shopify payments for drop shipping. Alright, so now here we are on Shopify. And now from here, what we're going to do is tap on the settings in the bottom left to start and setting up our payment methods. But before we go into the payment methods, we want to go into plan first. So what I want to tell you about this is that it is very important that you have a subscription here in the plans of Shopify. In that way, you won't be limited from your payment methods. You would have all the functions that Shopify has to offer right here. And if you observe, as you can see right here, I am only paying $1 per month for the advanced plan of Shopify instead of $399 per month. And you can also do this if you use the link in the description below. So you would be able to also avail this discount right here for only a dollar a month for the first three months of your store here in Shopify. So that will be really helpful for you. And now that we're clear on that, the next thing is we're going to go into taxes first before going into the payment methods because taxes are very important right here in Shopify. So make sure that you do this correctly first before you go into the payments methods and accepting payments and so on. If needed, you can check with a tax professional so that you can make sure that you have your taxes set up correctly right here. And now that we are clear on this one, let's now proceed into the payment methods right away. So right now we are currently here in the payment methods. So the first thing we will be discussing in the payment providers and we will go through this one by one uh, going down right here. So the first one is a payment provider. So you can click on choose a provider right here. And then from here, you can see the payment providers that is available for your country and take note that this is not the same for every country. So it would depend on your location and which payment provider would be available to you. And each payment provider would have a different method on how you can connect their uh, platform into your Shopify store as a payment method. So for example, I have uh, Top Payments, Payoneer, and Ocean Payment available for me and the rest is unavailable to my country. So I'll just go for Payoneer and this is the instruction right here. So checkout is designed to help you easily accept payments and, and directly into your website. We support 120 plus currency methods so you can serve your shoppers and so on. And you can click on install right there and you will be prompted right here. So yeah, right here and you'll click on install right there and you can view and edit store data and so on right here so once you're done with that one and as you can see you are not accepting payments with your new uh, check out native cards and you need to finish setting up your account with this provider to start accepting payments so you need to click on manage account right here and then from here you would need to set up your account here on payoneer and we will not be going through this process because it is different from each payment provider for example if payoneer it would be this method or that procedure in the other payment uh, provider right here, example and top payments, it will be a different one you want to install and then you will be redirected again to a website. So yeah, there would be instructions on how you can do that. So yeah, as you can see, this app is not compatible with your store, which means that it is very subjective on which one you would choose right here. So if you're in different country, you might not choose the payment provider that I did. So. I'll not be discussing that right here. I'm just showing you on how you can do it right here. Anyways, the instructions on how you can connect it into your Shopify store is very straightforward. All you have to do is follow it and then you would be able to successfully connect it into your Shopify store right here if you choose the payment, payment providers that is available for you right here. So yeah, that is basically it for the payment providers. And then the next thing is the supported payment methods. So in my opinion, this is the easiest Pay payment provider that you can set up here in Shopify store for example is a PayPal right here as you can see all I have to do now is set this up and as you can see it is incomplete because this is just my dummy uh, account right here in Shopify to show you this tutorial so you, that you can just set up your PayPal right here and you can uh, yeah set it up right here and then you would be able to uh, receive payments through PayPal and that is very easy right there and you can also add some payment methods aside from PayPal if you would like to by clicking on this button right here. So yeah. And then the next thing is the payment capture method. So you can also do this if you want to be automatic at checkout. So you can authorize and capture payment when an order is placed. So you can click on manage right here and you can capture it automatically at checkout or you can automatically 
when order is fulfilled, you would be able to capture it, or you could just capture it manually by this button right here. So you could also do this right here, depending on which one would suit your taste or preference right here. And then the next thing is if you want to add a cash on delivery, then this is where you set it up, which is the manual payment methods. So you can click here in the manual payment methods. As you can see, we have the COD and we also have the money order. We have the bank deposit or you can create your custom payment method right here. You can click on this one and you can select the name, additional details, payment instructions right here. So if you want some third party, so for example, you want to involve uh, maybe Skrill then you can go in here in the payment instructions and you want to go uh, maybe attach your uh, Skrill account number. This is where you send it into Skrill and so on. This is where you send it into Skrill. Maybe just like that, account number, account number, and then you can provide it right here so that the customer would know on how you can do it. And then you may provide something like uh, provide a screenshot of their receipt and send it to this email and then you can also do this right here so that is just another example but i don't think this one is very efficient and this does take too much effort for the customer and your customer would might not like this one right here but this is another option for you to try out if you would want to right here and you can go again into manual, I mean, in the manual payment method, and you can go for money order, bank deposit, and so on. In the bank deposit, you would be able to basically uh, put the same details right here, instructions, and so on. So you can also do that. And then the next one is the payment method customization. So from here, you can view payment method customization apps. You can click on that. And then from here, you can see the apps that is powered by functions right here in Shopify. So you can check one of these apps right here. So for example, you can go for release it, cash on delivery. You can install this app right here, but as you can see, there is a free plan, but there is also a premium plan that you can use so that you can avail all the features right here of this app and you can add it into your uh, Shopify store. And this way you would have an easier time in as you can see right here in their photos, you can have an easier time with your credit card, cash and delivery, and whatsoever right here so that you won't have to exert so much effort because that is basically a template on how you can set up your payment method. So yeah, those are your different options right here on your payment methods. And each of them would have a different way different depending on which one you would choose. It, they would have a different way on how you can set it up on your Shopify store. But this is basically the generic way that I can show you on how you can do it right here on Shopify. So I hope this video helped you out. Thank you for watching.